Okay, I am hoping this works. Come on, come on, show me, show me, playback, playback. Ah, that's it. That's a lot better. I think it's a mixture of OBS and I used to monitor my stream on my second monitor but it seems to not like doing that in what's it called uh, Twitch so I am going to just now play as I would can, and pretend that there's let's say uh, my brain my brain is turned off hang on taking my headphones off because it's music's distracting me um, options, audio, master volume, look at that. Yeah, hopefully that's okay. Just going to test it, because I monitor things now on my phone, because the phone is a separate device. There we go, that's better. So, right, apply changes, yes supply, um, profiles. I tested this very quickly last night, you see 25 minutes. Now I've played the demo and the Lice Slough is, well, the Lice Slough is pretty much the start of the game. Um, how do I delete scum that time? I'll, I'll do scar. Mm. Okay. So now, scum exiled. Let's see how this goes because I'm not going to say this is a blind play. As somebody who played the demo back in December, I've got experience with this. So, yeah, yeah. Graven. Graven. Let's see how this goes. Now, I apologise if anyone um, follows or whatnot, or even if someone's watching. I can't easily tell. Our priest of the orthogonal order humbly walks the parallel path, following the Creator through service. Father to an adopted daughter, as fate would have it, he cherished her, and they shared a love of both learning and charity. But not all walk the parallel path. They serve another, not a creator, not begotten, and their transgressions lay a heavy price upon the world. When love meets fear, even the humble heart feels wrath and righteous anger, giving birth to unknown strength. Red-handed from the blood of a heretic, the blood of a fellow priest, without being able to see how once more he is tried and found guilty. What divides contrition and shame? What is your name? Acceptance. Acceptance. Succumbing to the burning sands and arguing not over the price of her life, he closes his eyes one last time. A prayer for peace. You will have to earn your peace. You will have to earn your peace. Okay. I've played that before, so I know what it's about. This looks smoother, less grainy than before. Which I'm sort of disappointed about, because I like it all grainy and chunky, but maybe that's just me. Swampy, swampy fog bottom. Or bog bottom. Bye, Raven. Go and make Call of Duty games forever. And I've seen this one before, but still a nice intro. Yes, yes. 
Welcome to the Black Mesa Transit Facility. This train is inbound to Sector C Test Labs. And blah blah blah, I can't remember that. Oh, that's, that's quite low res. That's nice. At times the only light in this accursed swamp are the funeral pyres. Other than the light you yourself make. Just thinking about this, this is a very death metal looking intro. Only light to the funeral pyres. <laughs> no need to own ships of land when they can scarcely dare come near. If they did, the mob would claim them, much like it did that lighthouse. Nice timing and nice framing as well. Beasts. Bodies. Lots of those things around, actually. I noticed them in the demo, but they're more noticeable now. Ah! Battered bats! Nice reflection for the water. Very unreal. I've said a few times because I know people use retro engines. Like, this is Unreal 4. But I don't know why nobody's really tried to use the original Unreal. Since the plague arrived. Fitting. Time does seem to be standing still. Indeed, indeed. Time is standing still. Because that's what pandemics do. Ooh, angry fish. Raven. <sighs> These games about plagues are just hitting closer to home all that's time more and more as time passes. Don't forget your staff, priest. It's the only thing that will keep you alive. No more. There you go, Penny. You're gonna need it more than I. Thank you, Stefan Waite. Um, I can't hit Stefan Waite, but that's that's actually a war crime hitting Stefan Waite. Lovely old man. And now, now into the game, which means smash boxes and fish and barrels and everything. Oh, I'm actually quite low health. That's an interesting start to the game. Yep. Croxworth map. So there we are. Let's we'll start the docks. That's sort of new compared to what the demo had. Can't kill the raven. Oh gosh. I'll go straight through it. Kicking straight past the damn thing. Oh, ammo. Nice. It's nice that that box was covered in the moss that's um, sitting beneath it. Nice little bits of attention to detail. Bye ravens. Okay. Now, I'm not going to do what I did when I first played the demo, and I the first thing I did after getting off the boat was running straight to here and kicking the exploding barrel. How that went is quite predictable. First death in the game was because I was stupid. Getting money... Oh, I didn't kick the guy's box over. Bastard. Go for a swim. Bye. Unfortunately, I have been through this, so... I've seen what's here. And there's a note here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This is new. This is all very new. 
Smacking boxes and barrels is not new. Actually, I'm going to wait until I've got the fire spell, because... For big barrels, because uh, those things just... Uh, they take a couple of swings from the stick. I'd rather just wait for them to burn down. What's in here? Hmm. So this is what's in the light... Well, not the lighthouse, but the clock tower. Just imagine this guy getting off a boat and then... The first thing he does is run around the town and just smash everything. I'm surprised I'm so low health at the start of the game. Yeah, fuck your fish. Alright, an invincible knife block. Two peat bricks. Right, the journal. Where am I? I'm supposed to be dead. Blah, 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 blah. So, inventory. Peat bricks. Hmm. Okay. Uh... Oh, ammo for the big zappy blast gun. I saw somebody playing it last night. And it looks like the... Uh... Flechette crossbow is has been moved. So let's go and uh, cause it doesn't look like there's much in the clock tower. Can't break that. Nope, nope, I can't. Yes, it is. I can't hit you though. Am I going to get the angry fish? Hmm. Angry fish are less angry. Yeah, I'm not a good person, am I? Even though I'm supposed to be a priest who's doing nice things. Maybe it's just my chaotic alignment when I play games. There we go, angry fish. One angry fish. First thing you have to do in every game when there's a water section. Oh, two angry fish. Two angry fish at once. That wasn't very good. Two angry fish are nasty. I'll get my head above the water. Oh, I can sprint. Swim. Good, good, good. Anything around here? It's a barrel. Two barrels with a health potion in it, which is good because I need health potions. Not usable health potions, just the instant health potions. So I look quite healthy now. Looking very healthy. Why is the why has a fish been eating coins? Video game logic. Video game logic all the time. Right. Out the water. Couple more angry fish by the look of it. Hey, fish. Wake up. I'm above you, you silly thing. Daft fish. And of course, a boat full of Stuff. Didn't get my breath back, evidently. Silly me. Anyway, where was I? I was trying to loot this boat, wasn't I? Oh, health potion. Excellent. First health potion in the game. Money. 
big bag of money. Lots of money. Skeleton's invincible. Oh, I can't sprint when I'm underwater. Heck. Is that... Oh! I see. Bottom left, uh, next to my inventory, or my uh, action bar, is a little dude. And as I'm underwater, yet it drains. Right, now I know. So my stamina is also my breath. It's my breath in every single way. Right. Get the last angry fish. Hello, angry fish. Dead angry fish. I think that's all of the angry fish. Now, speaking of fish, in the demo, there's a very specific kind of fish around here somewhere. Where is he? If they've removed him, I'm going to be upset. Lots of health potions around here. I can't see him. They, they've removed the dope fish. They removed the dope fish. Oh. That's made me, made me sad. Dope fish hunting is something I like doing. Ah, well. Never mind. Oh. Uh, see you, fairy man. Thanks for the lift. Yeah, I can't follow you. Have a, have a nice life. Anyway. mention again, I don't know if anyone's watching, but if you follow, I can't actually tell because I've got all the things in my on my computer set to minimal, so I, I don't get disturbed by things. Well, not necessarily I get disturbed, but oh, the barbs for the flashat launcher. Um, it's because, effectively, because uh, OBS has caused me so many problems that I've minimised every kind of other thing, so apologies if people follow and I don't notice. Town is town is a town now. That one's not openable, but I mean it's cool. I can go in the house. Shame that there's not much here. Unfortunately, the main interaction I've got with the game at the moment is, wow, somebody's house. This is nice. Let's smash everything. Hopefully the inter interactions will uh, improve as time goes by. So I've got incentive to not necessarily be a dick to everyone. Oh. Somehow the weather seems more foul. What are you talking about the UK for? Right, I'm not going to smash anything more. Mmm, um. pleasant. So it's like my breakfast. But uh, after that, I'm just going to get myself the fire thing before I smash anything else. Apart from the, these particular fish. Fuck those fish. And that one box there. A priest! It's too late for prayers. The waste is clogged up with dead. With the dead. More than a sword can cut through. You'll, you get our muck flowing again and we'll let you in. It's the doorway down by the steps of the docks. We brought it up so you might need to break through. Okay. <coughs> oh, that, that voice was a bit rough. That, that, that went straight to my throat. I shouldn't do that. And so on to the Life Slough, which I've played about five or six times now. In flame, a tool to light torches, trigger explosives, and melt ice. Nice. Fire on demand. Ouchie, ouchie. And also, 
something that upsets most people that uh, have not played this before. That seems less effective. Well, that's not fun. I used to be able to set one thing on fire and the, everything else around it would burn. Hello. I'm going to die down here. The flames do nothing to these creatures. I should have listened to our priests. Keep the spells to altering the world. Keep the steel to protecting ourselves. This flame is good for nothing but light and chain reactions. Unfortunately, uh, chain reactions don't seem to be working at the moment. She's seen better days. I said she, she's seen better days. I said she's seen better days. Thank you. We've nowhere left. Our neighbourhood was quarantined. The town square shut behind us and a strange man follows us down here. No one recognises him. But in all this, he feels threatening. He feels threatening, but he isn't, because he's trying to use a shitty fire spell, which has been nerfed. At least can set the braziers alight. That's nice. And I'm glad that there are respawn points now, because uh, that's one thing I saw somebody streaming last night with. Um... Because before, reset points would just spawn wherever they wanted to, rather than at a specific place. So sometimes you'd spawn right in the middle of monsters, and uh, that's not ideal, to be honest. I mean, it, they do burn through things, at least, uh, to save you a swing of a bat a few times. Swing of the bat, swing of the staff. Get back. Horrible thing. Drop some money. Can I still set the corpses alight? Yes, I can. As I say, I played this a little last night. Oh, that, that actually... Was that actually because I, I uh, used the flames on both of them at the same time? Or did that actually spread? I don't know. Th th that might be intentional by design, or it might be something unintended. Due to problems in the game, but we'll see. I think I just kicked his... Yeah, I kicked his head. Yep. 3D Realms game. Can I? Yeah! Dark Messiah time! And it feels like they've done that to make sure you don't destroy every dis destructible object, or you have to wave your stick at it. I'm, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure about that. There, there was a, there was something cathartic about setting everything on fire in the demo that I really liked. And now it just, um, I mean, the fire spell is simply environmental. As it is, a lot of people I've seen playing this, or the reviews on Steam have been, I can't, but the burning spell doesn't do anything. Which is true. Um, but I think they're just using it wrong, because it's uh, the mindset of, well, it's a fire spell. It's supposed to damage things. Hey. Don't fucking hit that guy. But no, it, it's not acting as people expect it to. Even though the guy's kind of notes said, Damn it! I was expecting this fire spell to be more destructive. All it does is light things. But then again, I imagine there's a good few people who don't read the notes. Ah, uh, smashing more pots. 
should splash pots in my own time rather than when I'm streaming, but... Uh, I, I, I just see box I must smash. Ooh. What am I ooing at? Right. It... I mean, it destroyed a lot of them there, but it's left this one alone. Even though that one was sitting atop of the other barrels. And I, I don't know how the physics in the game works, so because you'd expect fire to spread upwards. Yes! I mean, the, the, the kick could feel a bit more chunky, I admit, but there is a satisfaction of, um, to kicking things off of high places. The in well, the slow speed of the water has been removed, it seems, but the inertia is really, really uncontrollable. Actually, it looks like the mana is more efficient. So you can use it for longer. Because in the demo, the mana was really kind of tapped for more than two seconds. Where's all my mana gone? This, it looks like you can uh, use the spell for much longer. Right. Get more points where you can just... Because I'm going through the motions, I admit. Because uh, the demo, this is all in the demo. Not much left in my stash. Hopefully no one looks here. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I shouldn't do all these voices. They're really bad on my throat. I can hear more monsters. Yep, yeah, there we go. There's one. Thought I'd noticed all this last night, but then again, I did play it at 3 a.m. after a long day, so. I can hear more monsters. Where are you? I do like how corpses burn underwater. Where are you? You're probably up there, aren't you? Okay. Oh, that one's burning. I, I've got a gut feeling after you light all the braziers in here, they'll... Oh! You guys have been chasing me, but you've been running in circles, haven't you? Oh! Do you mind? I'm trying to kill your mate. There we go. Bad Zombo. What the? Where did you come from? Awfully bad Zombos. I would say die, but you're dead already. Die some more. Okay. More coin. More Zombos. With his arm. More funeral pyres to build. It's amazing that how well fire burns these things. They didn't just burn all these corpses. 
Then again, I'm probably using magic fire, so that doesn't count. Kick their heads! Help if I could aim. I mean, they're easy to avoid, or easy enough to avoid. Hello. Um, I don't need to go in there yet. But... I just can't aim at them, is my problem. I, just, I think that's my general problem in games. I can move, but I can't aim. And when I can move, it's usually adaptive moving, as opposed to good speedrunning techniques. Because I can never speedrun. I'm, I'm too much of an idiot to be able to speedrun stuff. Well, leave those zombos alone. No money from those ones. Heads are invincible. So as soon as you knock a zombie's head off, it becomes invincible. That's where footballs come from. They're zombie cops. Oh, bad, bad timing on my behalf there. Zombies do hit quite hard, actually. At least relative to the potions that you pick up. Dungar wants me to clear up a rather grave clog beneath the city. It's going to take more than a firm hand and an iron stomach. Yep. Yes, it is. Yeah, headshots finish them off quite quickly. Who's the... C A N C E R M O U S E. He's gone. All that remains are dead rats. Is it because Civvy killed them in the video? I would say you remember you remain in our hearts forever, Cancer Mouse, but uh, you are cancer. It's amazing how wonderfully cluttered this area was. Reset point. Oh! Oh, this is new. This is new. Clotted avenues. Hmm. I guess this is the new... I, I did think when I was playing the demo, that's got to be something later on. It just seems too much like a design where you're supposed to go up here. So it looks like you can't get there yet, so I presume that's latter in the, in the uh, game. I think this is the biggest problem with Lice Slayer. You can spend ages in here just doing not much. But then again, that's very DSX y in the context of. Can't like that. It's knocked over. Well, at least. At least you get a couple of uh, points from that. Well, you can at least burn them all together easily. Because I'm just going through the motions, unfortunately, at the moment. Yeah, that's the barrel to get out of here. Those corpse piles ain't dead. Can't go up now through. Can't go up through. 
up now through. Oh, though. <laughs> Learn to read. Can't go up now, though. The guard's everywhere, and they've already had it out for me. Well, you're dead now, and more importantly, you're gone, because I smacked you with a stick. Okay, iron barrel. I have to lift... Oh. Get rid of the zombie. Clean that up after myself. Now drop this on the door. Something moved. 15 red mana. Yeah, needed those health. Aha. Why didn't I collect those ones before? Who knows? I'm amazed at how much a simple tap from a zombie can hurt. Right, okay. I'm messing around now. So it's time to get on with it. Uh, I'm sure there was a note. Ah, there we go. Gregor, stop putting those peat barrels by the torches. They don't need to dry. It's peat. Peat is squishy and it's flammable. Are you trying to blow us all up? Fix the gate lever too. There's a spare joint on the north platform. Don't knock the ladder down while you're up there. Okay. Grab barrel. And throw barrel. That's one part of it done. I got very lost here the first time I played it. But well, that's mostly because I'm an idiot. Okay. I want... Give me those. Give me those nice bits of mana. Oh, I'm full on mana. And some ammo. And some flechettes. Don't need any flechettes at the moment. I, mean, I can hear enemies making a noise. And they are coming from roughly about that area. Squish. guy. Let's see. Two, uh, two birds, one stone. Excellent. And now I can go into the town. <coughs> Excuse me. Nope, can't destroy zombie limbs. At least not ones that are lying on the floor. Those health potions don't seem to restore much. Coinage. Well, I might come back here anyway, because I've got a feeling I've got to come back here. Um, and we'll see if we can light the brazier, braziers later. Um, thank you. Right, let's see. Test. I mean, that's sort of unimpressive, apart from the range on that explosive was a lot, lot wider than I thought it was. But before, you could just light one of those barrels up and it would all go up. This is a great example. Yeah. Every one of those barrels would have burned. But now I have to go across them manually and uh, set each of them on fire. Crap, lots of stuff. I'm full ammo and I've not even started yet. And the 
there's that one that got away with a single coin in it. Completely worth it. Because that might be that one coin that I need to buy some potion of ovulating sex or something. Horrific diarrhea. Um, hmm. Are you okay? You just maybe I'm just looking at stereotypes. The guy with the eye patch hanging around in the back there, but he just seems like he's up to no good. Wow, destroying a chair makes it up, turn up right. Interesting. Anyway, nothing much around that. I think there's piles of corpses here. Yep. It's more convenient to do that, but it's more resource intensive. I'm trying to destroy some of your fish. It's amazing how selective uh, game design is, which is fine. Anyway. I'm just hitting barrels. This is getting very, very boring to watch, I imagine. Good enough, but I wish I hadn't brought the stench back up with you. Even the plague smells better. Go on in. Crooksworth. Yeah, tax collector has boxes with him. Just before he didn't. I uh, hate to bleed, but you seem like passing... Th you seem to be passing through, or at least you're not going to be here... And stick around, blah 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 blah. He basically just wants you to go and light the lighthouse. Oh, rats. I get kill the rat. Come come on, rat, rat! I'm trying to kill you. My god, rats are invincible! And they're really bad at climbing stairs. Fascinating. Anyway. Where was I? Where was I? I've got too much of a destructive streak. If I see something that can be destroyed, I have to destroy it. Burn everything! <coughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Hello there. I said hello there. Well, hello there. Hello? I said hello! Oh god, if you're not going to acknowledge me, you... Fuck your table in particular. That's interesting. Um, you have a flam inflammable table that burns regardless. But anyway, essentially, the tax collector told me to go and uh, essentially clear out uh, an area out here and uh, set the turn the lighthouse on. Oh, oh, I saw I saw the most important thing in the game. Hello there. Hello there. Hello. It actually looks cleaner now. Because before, I mean, the, it, it doesn't look like a particularly clean dog anyway. But um, before, the dog had a distinctly kind of manky look to him. Anyway. Thank you, doggy. Now he looks like he's had a bath. That's good. Who's a good boy? Anyway. Blacksmith. Short sword. Yeah, sure.
Mm, don't have the money for the flechette. Here's my sword. Which makes destroying things a lot easier. If I can find something to destroy. I mean, the boxes uh, seem to just be destroyed in one hit anyway. different because before that had um, lots of zombie hands reaching through hmm I guess the hands reaching through indicate that's not an area you can go to at all because now we've got this area here yeah, same message but dudes through there, so I presume that area is inaccessible in the long term. Right. right, I've got to change that around. That's annoying me. So three, two, one, two, three. Excellent. I don't think there's anything particularly interesting under all these corpse paths, so I'm just going to keep going, Brian Muskang. That's the first area, really. Loading screen's new. So I presume they're filling it up with extra stuff now, where it can't just stream load like it did before. Buildings have still got nothing around them of interest. Come on, my bro. Oh, that is a lot more effective. Oh, the sword is nice. I mean, the sword was better than the staff in the demo, but this, this is significantly better. Give the sword a wipe. I didn't actually do anything then. He just manually did it. <clears throat> I mean, automatically did it. Manually means I pressed the button to do it. Right, so there's still a secret around here. God damn it, this sword's good. Let's see. Yep. It's not... It seems to be not an official secret now. <clears throat> Because before when I played this, when I went up there, that had a message saying secret found, but not anymore. Right, last time I played this, ju jumping down there killed me instantly, so let's not do that. Sword is very good effective at uh, clearing out monsters. Oh, this has come earlier. So a cultist had it. And now I have my ranged weapon. Still getting the barbs. Bag of money, bag of money, bag of money, bag of money. How do I get the bag of money? Let me in, let me into the cart. Have I cut off that bag of money? Bad game design. Well, maybe not bad game design, but still not optimal. Now the electric zappy spell's gone. Oh, blocking. What's this? Skelly Bobbler. Oh, chuck your block off. Uh, yeah, I've got a little bit of a uh, flame spell. Burn a few corpse piles.
be honest, the sword is so effective that even though I've got the ranged weapon, I'm so used to um, doing melee in this that I think I'll save the ranged weapon for... That was a bit of an animation goof where he tried to wipe off the sword, but I waved it and the animation stopped. Still invisible? Oh, shit. Yeah. Well done, me. Hmm. Oh, what what key did I press? I, I seem to have uh, changed my my mana um, readouts at the bottom right. Not sure what's happened there. Now there was a building around here that you could enter. There we go. And that's a secret. That's a big bag of money. Still not got um still got full barbs. I'll, I'll, I'll piss around up here a bit later, maybe. Ah! Rude. Rude. Okay. Anyway. On with the game rather than faff around more. Right, I definitely need to grab some health because... Um, The death seemed to drain me of all my health, I know, for the obvious reasons, but I respawned with very low amounts. Those health readouts at the top right aren't matching up with what's appearing at the bottom left on the health bar. Interesting. Anyway. I still feel like I shouldn't be using this on those guys. Maybe I shouldn't. You should be full of... Yeah, they've changed this around because this is where you used to get the cuff crossbow. And there used to be loads of ammo for the crossbow around here. This feels like a trap. Okay, I'm going to fall for the trap. Okay, maybe it's not a trap. That, that feels so much like a, some kind of trap, though. Unless it's when I leave the arena. Now the the cuff crossbow's not uh, gained in this area. This this part feels a little bit superfluous. And over here. No 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 no. Don't want to die again. Don't want to die again. It's got a strange kind of drift when you're in there. But it's not like a Morrowind or slash Oblivion kind of air drift, but it's still a very little odd bit of an air control or air movement. It's not air control, so to speak. It's just when you're in the air, it, it feels a bit wrong. Is the only way to describe it. Oh, hello. I mean, that is a trap, I guess. But it's not a particularly nasty trap, because they spawned anyway, if I remember rightly. Hmm. Yeah, I remember him running away. Ow! No! Wrong key! Bad beast. Naughty beast. Into bits. Into bits. 
Anyway. Let's place this here. Get the right key. Actually, get this one. God, they do... The way that the fire spell works, it does ignite things, well, destroy things very, very quickly now. <coughs> right, definitely drinking a potion. It's a bit of a strange delay there, but when you try and switch between uh, weapons um, in the middle of the potions. Use. The range on those things is huge. Right, lots of zombos down there, just doing zombie things. Stop dodging. I see a big beast in there. Near one. There we go. Nasty looking dude. And out you come. Not too bad. Where did you come from? In fact, combat feels a lot easier now, to be honest. I don't know if it's because it's smoother or what. Because before, it would take a few hits to get a zombie down, but now it's just quick swipe, done. I'm getting lots of mana for the uh, lightning spell, but no actual lightning spell itself. Oh, hello again. Their animations are slightly awkward. Difficult to read. I should actually use the crossbow just because I'm getting so much ammo for it. Now this... Yeah, before you just light any one part of this lot on and it would all go, but now it's a bit different. Ah. They've taken the ring away from this place. Tramp, home is where the heart is. My heart isn't here. My dinner isn't, isn't either. I'm dinner in town for sure. I'm dinner in town for sure. Out here, it might not be dinner. I'm. I might not be dinner. I'm dinner in town for. Oh, I'm dinner in town for sure. Out here, I might not be dinner. Wish I was able to bring my sword with me, or better yet, a crossbow. Fair enough. The lady was tramp, and now she's ghoul. Same for you, mate. I think that's to the lighthouse itself, but I don't have any of the prerequisite. No, that's the lighthouse and that's the gate, but I don't have any prerequisite things to finish that part yet. So, put that down there. Coins. Anything down here? Coinage. And I'm not going to do it as I did before in the demo, but this was so much fun to just light everything on fire, but now the fire spell's just gimped. So, eh. Right, boss time. Boss time.
maybe it isn't boss time, is it? Well, that was a bit disappointing. Does this used to be a boss arena in the demo? In fact, it feels like it should be something like that, but hey, maybe that's just me. It's really hard to get in these carts. Give me coins! You know what? Never mind. Near bother. Away with you, spider webs. Stop being so anal. Oh, no, that's the reset point. Yeah, and I've got to say now, the combat does feel way too easy. Way, way too easy. I mean, you're a lot more powerful, but now it's... It's powerful, but I don't feel like anything's really challenging me. Which is a bit of a shame. Because in the demo, I had to at least try and pay, pay attention to what was going on. Now it's... Pretty much just everything goes down in one or two hits. And I know I'm still quite early in the game, but... I don't feel like I'm being challenged significantly at all. At least not in the combat tense. Okay, learn to aim. I ran out of ammo because I'm an idiot. So now I've got to deal with the fact that the things are flying around above my head. I can't take them on. Damn it! I find the combat really easy. Runs out of ammo. Oh no, I can't do combat. My god, I'm a hypocrite. They appeared so quickly, we, we just wanted it to aid the blacksmith, but out of nowhere these creatures appeared. We ran as fast as we could and luckily they couldn't keep up. The plant life around here should give us some cover, but I fear that will be found eventually. That looks destructible. Makes the same sound no matter where I hit it. But there's a secret up here. Parkour! Yeah. And again, no ring. Maybe the rings were just too powerful for early game. That loops round to the entrance area. Oh, I'm going to kill all these zombos. That's the town there. It's not quite as fun without the electric spell. It's kind of funny because the guy was talking about, I need to get out of here before the zombies come. And they're just a real pushover now. Way, way too easy currently. Foolish zombie. Getting frame drops here. Then again, it is quite a large arena with a uh, lot of stuff going on. At least graphically. 
Yeah, kind of pretty. Do I have any flesh? Oh, I do have some barbs. Well, not barbs, uh, arrows. Now I'm back out to the starting area. Well, at least of this area. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's get back to where we were. Don't need any potions. Don't need any of that mana because that mana is just all over the place. Grab Serpent Key. Don't want to go in there because that's the boss arena. Except for there's no boss. I think you're confused, mate. Notice the AI running into walls a few times. Not a major criticism, that. And but it's something worth noting, I guess. Three shots to take them down. Oh, okay. Oh, no, I wasn't trying to pick you up. I was trying to pull out my sword out. <clears throat> Squishy corpses as I stand on them. Oh, couldn't squish those corpses. And I did see somebody last night playing this very, very briefly. You know what? Sword is probably just as good. And by the look of it, the Flechette crossbow, which used to be here, is now gone. Something around there. Cheeky things trying to spit at me. Put the key in. Go through the door. You are no dinosaur. Whoa, you are. Damn, they hurt. But still looking in relatively rude health. So, continue on. Smack you once. Smack you twice. Smack you thrice. Good bice. Grab more of these. It's, it's really easy to fill up on those, but also really easy to run out. Now that... I think it's going to be some point later where I have to... find something significantly heavy around here, but from what I could tell, the demo, at least, when the developers were talking about it, it was... Um, this area, I'm trying to remember what they were saying. Um, there's a Metroid Vayner element to it, so... you end up coming back to areas, so I presume there's going to be something heavy later on. I mean, that's that's taken up almost all my ammo. Just trying to fight those guys. Okay. Where are the zombies? There was a lot around here. In fact, there was one of those beasts as well, but... Oh, well. Oh! Well, they've taken the mace out and they've given me another sword. This place has become my. Yeah, yeah, okay, zombies here. So I wasted my money on the sword in town. Ah, oh, well, never mind. Oh, more zombies! I'm full on ammo again. It's so fast to both get full ammo and run out of ammo. 
I'm not going to say I'm disappointed thus far with it. I'm just sort of... A little confused at some of the choices they made. But then again, it, it's, it's the early access kind of balancing of the game. Because uh, before in the demo, trying to do that, I'll be circle strafing around it a lot more. And that was it would be very risky to try and take one of them on with a, a melee weapon. And that was just super, super easy. I've no doubt they'll balance it back. Probably not to the extreme that it was, but they'll balance it back to a degree at some point. Off with his leg. And now I think I've got both of the... Let me see. Oh, I've only got one. Where's the other one, then? So now I drop down here. Oh, okay. The other one was right in front of the where are you. There you are. You're dead. Cylinder one, cylinder two. For anyone who attempts to operate the lighthouse, please memorize the following. I would advise you procure some defenses. Many operators seem to perish out there. It's quite unforgiving. Okay. And I've got some peat bricks. Again, I don't know what peat bricks are for yet. We'll see. Lighthouse is on. And... Yep. Okay, all done. Done the lighthouse. So... And before, normally, that attracts all the zombies to go towards you, but... Since I cleared the marsh out... There's no zombies left to come at me. Some frame dips here. No doubt due to my crappy computer. Okay, can't get back through there, but that's fine. I've got all what I needed to have been done done, so to speak. Plus, I can go through that way if I wanted to. Nothing back in here. And so now it's back to town. Didn't fight the two giants, um, but I guess there's no heavy weapons to fight them with. Yep, it's repopulated the zombos up here. Help if I can hit them! Go down easy, though. Thought that looked like a destructible wall. It's just the texture. Now, I remember going through here and... Yeah. Thank you. Much appreciated. Don't know if it's uh, the bad guys are just really lightweight on uh, health or the friendly fire is there, but that was appreciated. Thank you, flying thing. There's more angry things around the corner, maybe. Uh, just zombies. Pretty simple. This definitely needs uh, selectable difficulties, though, because... Because I, I might have said it, it, it needs a rebalancing, but it, if anything, it's just selectable difficulties, I think, because this is just far, far too easy at the moment for myself. I imagine there's people out there who would be sort of like, my God, this is hard, but... That's no offence to the um, folks who find stuff like this hard. It's just... Well... People like me who... I'm not going to say I'm good at this kind of stuff, but I'm at least experienced enough to realise that... How to play these kind of things. That, that just felt way, way too easy. And I preferred the difficulty of the 
demo version. Okay. Now on to new stuff, because this is where the demo ended. I'm not in the business of giving out gold, but I admit, you've earned it. Thank you. If you think you can make inroads with this plague, the quarantine zone should be accessible now. Bring in, bar in that, the Cruxfirth archives or that accursed house deep in the bog beyond are your best bets. Okay. Respawn point reached, and now, now it's into the land of mystery because I have no idea what's um, in this demo from here. Well, not demo, but in this game from here on in. Can't pick him up. I'm not trying to pick him up. I know this is a bar, but that's not what I'm trying to do. Not very talkative, are you? Bastard. Same for you. I hate pubs! My cups have the ale that ails you. No, they don't. Uh, there used to be a map maker in here. He's gone now. That's marking the boat that I looted earlier. I thought there was a mark on the wall for a minute, thinking, oh, I found a secret. No. Nothing of interest. Yeah, run a good business now. Nothing says immersive sim quite like going into an area of the public, or a public area, thank you, um, and just ruining people's lives and they just stand back and accept it. Hmm. Yeah, run your business now mate, by the way I'm stealing your money. Right, so... Excuse me. Um, there is where it boiled over, apparently. Somewhere within that tangled wretch is a path to the library. And from there, hopefully answers. I recoil... I, I recall spotting a blocked gate and a lice slab. Ah, okay. Okay. Now you're telling me about it now. Admittedly, when I was down there, it did point out that um, it was a new zone. So, I presume... something down there. Hopefully the game will get a bit more interesting from here. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just maybe the demo put different kind of expectations in my mind for what it would be like when I play the full game. Can't go in there. Can't kick him in the face. So back down to the lice slough. Get the checkpoint. Any more monsters? No, but there's gold. I guess with the lighthouse being lit, it's uh, made all the monsters move away from these doors. I can hear you. I did note, because there's parts like that that seem to indicate there's something up there. But whether I can actually get to those points... No, well, I can't get to them yet, but uh, I'll definitely be able to get to them later, I think. Oh, is that an unlit brazier? It is. And now on to something new and exciting. Yes! The gate is open. And a tower appeared with the loading screen. Okay, this is all new. I have no idea what this is going to be like. So more zombos. Oh, 
Oh, this is on the old title screen. I'm looking at something. Go away. Yeah, this was on the old title screen, I remember. Nice. Oh, epic music. This is the boss music in the demo. X marks the spot. Hmm. I wonder. Doesn't look destructible, but let's give it a shot. Nothing much in there. What's over here before I take on the obvious route? Oh, cool. So, we have a new sewer area. Everything's a sewer in this game, it seems. Oh, hello! What are you? Well, you're a skeleton, aren't you? You're a skelly bobbler. And you take a bit more of a beating to go down. Finally, something new! Makes me excited. Okay, beasts and more zombos. Oh! That's a funny leap you did, mate. 69 health. Nice. Okay. Hooray! I got the flechette finally. So this is kind of the game's crop well not crossbow, but shotgun. Finds burning barbs. I've had enough ammo for this for the longest time. Ow! And it's got a great old fire which just blows everything up. So now I'm fighting against zombos that can fire at me. Whoa! What the hell was that? Did I... Was that a bug, or did, was it supposed to do that? I don't know what happened there. Because I, I didn't actually press anything. When I landed on that platform, it just chucked me. I don't know what was going on. Was that one of the physics engine... Part of the physics engine breaking, I wonder. Who knows? Third more corpses. Nope. I've got that on five, have I? Yes, I do. Right, I'm going to take a potion. Oh. It's got plenty of them, to be honest. Boom! That's blocked off. Skelly Bobbler, except for non animated Skelly Bobbler. Well, I guess that's a good way of doing it. Go around the back way, find the route forward, rather than have to loop around and Go back on myself anyway. I can see angry fish down there. And with swords and other weapons, angry fish are rather easy, I imagine. I'm going to leave the angry fish alone for the moment. Because I find angry fish are annoying to fight. I'm just going to continue on for the meanwhile. Full on the regular crossbow bullets. Oh, bullets, um, arrows. 
Smash the pots, smash the pots. Couple of coins. Oh, no, no, no. That's into the swamp. I don't want to be in the swamp. Right, so let's take on these guys now because with uh, this, because I've got so much ammo for it. Oh! Damn it. Into the swamp. Into the drink. Get back round, get back round. Nothing under the stairs. Don't need any of that. This guy coming for me anyway. Relentless zombos. Easy enough, though. Burny corpses. It's not a very good funeral pyre with everything lying around the side of it. I, I do love the architectural design in this, though. It is pr pr really pretty. Well, pretty in a very morbid gothic manner. They also give you a little bit too much ammo in some certain weapons. I mean, I keep complaining about running out of ammo, and then I say they give me too much ammo. Make your mind up, you fool. Okay, this looks like I've got to go into a quarantined area. Smelly fart air around me. Can see zombos coming for me from in the dark. Okay. Smelly sewage bit. So the top, pretty gargoyle. That's what's at the top. Nothing around here. Just a few zombies. Something around here. Yelling at me from the other side of the wall by the sound of hello. We grab the fire um, runes, but what is this? Resonating stone empowers the staff to break certain barriers and deals more damage to enemy weak spots. Oh, okay. Um, sorry, I've not been looking at the chat simply because I'm so used to not having anyone say anything. Um, hello to the folks watching. But we'll see. We'll see um, if we can help you get unstuck then. Um, let's see where we are. Let's see how things go. Okay, so green doors. You know what? You guys are just a pain in the arse. Ow, that's not smart. They give me blue mat. I still don't have the lightning spell. We'll see, we'll see. Hopefully it eventually gives it to me. Invincible corpse. Guy lost his head. Got to keep your head on. And other puns. Yeah, guards have invincible corpses. Interesting. Now that. So when you put. Yeah, okay. So doors are normally invincible unless you've got the very specific. What the fuck? Okay, things got interesting. Maybe. They've got tough corpses, whatever they are. 
So finally we meet these cultists. Been seeing their bodies here and there. Nice. Okay, more cultists. So, yeah, let's let's try and take them on with an arrow. What do they do? What do they do apart from stab you up close? Doesn't seem like they do much, to be honest. Hmm. And yet again, another door with a white cross. What does that mean? Genuinely, I don't know what that means. That's not me trying to... Oh, I've run out of uh, barb well, the regular um, crossbow bolts again. It's a bit overkill, but works. Um, what's around here? Not much of a look of it, but got some crossbow bolts out of it, so it's worth it. I really wish I could get into these carts. And there's some crossbow bolts up there, but I just can't get in. They are pretty quick, um, from what I've seen. Well, these little bits that I've just seen now. But we'll have to see, because I'm, I'm, I'm just not finding it that challenging thus far. But then again, I've been playing a lot of Dusk recently, and other, you know, really fast kind of boomer shooters. So, I'm kind of used to the fast stuff at the moment. Who's this guy? Don't know who he is. Oh, it seems the city guard's not done very well against those guys. Then again, in a city where nobody seems to be capable of setting corpses on fire, where fire just makes them burn instantly, um, you know, I, I question the people of this town. Is this an alternative route? We'll see in a minute. Because that looks like... Oh no, there's a ladder. Right, okay. Is this a secret? We'll soon see. Yes, I am very much anticipating what multiplayer is going to be like because I've got a few friends who will most likely be wanting to play this with me. That said, they'll probably play amongst themselves because they're Russian and they like to chatter in Russian to themselves. So. are not too hard to be honest as long as you get <coughs> excuse me as long as you get consistent headshots on them they're not too bad ominous open area I'm full ammo for this thing oh did you just see me no no Swamp with angry fish in it. Jesus Christ, that water tension's incredible! My God, is this ice? No! Do you mind, fish? Right. The staff seems to be better at um, taking on angry fish than the uh, sword, it seems. Or at least in my experience, the um, sword is better. Well, the uh, staff seems to be better at smacking these fish about. I say that and then I miss. Oh, I need to... Oh, no, no. Running out of air. Running out of air. Shouldn't get cocky like that and thinking, oh, it's nice and easy, and then I almost bloody drown. We have present prevented ourselves from drowning. 
Some very Southern Metal Gear quotes. Should be faffing around in this water, I don't think, but... Nah, I'm going to go back, because... Yeah, this just looks like an area where it punishes you for falling in the water. That said, there's so many games where, essentially, swimming about gets you some good stuff, so might as well. What's up here? It's more of these guys. They don't seem to be very observant. Come on, guys. I'm shooting at you. Wake up. No, that's the opposite of wake up. Okay. Smash boxes. Right. Ah. So this is the correct there is a correct route to go through the water. But I just don't have the key yet, so it looks like I've got to go and find a key. It has opened up quite nicely, though, because the Brian Muskag was a bit limited in what you could do. And the Lice Slough was just really straightforward. But this has opened up quite nicely into just an enormous kind of exploratory castle area. So I'm definitely liking the level design. Can't get up there. At least my fat shins won't let me climb out. Yeah, definitely some Dark Souls vibes going on here and there. I'm actually getting more of a uh, Dark Messiah of Might and Magic to this game than anything else. Um, more than any other game. Surprisingly tough against uh, the um, barbs there. Okay, burn corpses. I th to be honest, the Dark Messiah thing might just be me going, look, you can kick. And you can kick zombies off in a certain in certain spots and it, it works quite well but it it does have that kind of experimental kind of play feel to it and it, it, it I don't know it just doesn't feel like it's quite there yet and that might not sound like I'm trying to insult it I'm not trying to insult it it's it's more of those seeing the potential in what's there because I, I do have kind of a degree of trust in um, what are you doing in here in what um, 3D realms are capable of and um, from what I remember of the demo, this has expanded on it a lot. The movement's a lot nicer. Oi! Cheeky sod. That's not very effective. That is. Oh, gosh. Um, that's still a problem I have with it. The fact that it doesn't give you any low health warnings. Because um, in the demo, I kept dying to things that killed me very, very suddenly, and it's simply because I didn't realise I had low health. Oh. Okay. Um. What does that mean? I'm guessing this is some kind of puzzle you've got to figure out. Right, can't go through there. Hmm. So we've cleared out that area, cleared out that area. Big spoopy door. That sounded big. Oh no, it's just one of those. Something that's hard to kill with the flechette crossbow, but very easy to circle strafe. Now that's the Dark Souls vibe. 
Can't use the fire, though. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm just... Uh, I know it's the... Tr Bad. Just noticed the journal message, and I presumed it reacted to the Dark Souls bonfire, but maybe not. Oh, I'm terrible at environmental puzzles, unfortunately, um, or those kind of puzzles where you have to figure out what the program is thinking uh, or the level design is thinking. I'm sure there's logic to it, it's just I, I'll i figure it out eventually. God, these guys just don't want to go down. Oh, hello, hello, hello. What do they do? Because I've not actually... Maybe I'm just killing them too fast. I've not actually seen what they do to you. I mean, they move around fast and they jab you with their stick, but... Earlier I saw a couple... Oh! 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 Oh, okay. Right, okay. So, right lever is top, middle one is obviously middle, left one is bottom, but I need to find, I presume, all the... All the things in the game. Ah, so the key's on top, so that's where the key to that other bit is. Generic lock sound on a door. Fire. That was just me trying something. Can't get through there yet. There's another key. It looks like there's another fire kind of rune thing. So. Hmm. I keep tripping on corpses. That's weird. It seems correct to your direction of movement. Are you okay there, mate? Spoopy. The depressed monster. I'll put him out of his misery regardless. Okay, that was a bit weird. I was wondering why I tripped up so violently, and it's because... Well... Best luck to you, mate. Okay, so there's the other route that I didn't go through. Oh, hello, more of these guys. Let's see how these work against them. Oh, no, that was a post. Oh! Hello. Oh, they throw things! Still not very... tough. What was that? So, uh, there's so many weird kind of little bugs that keep occurring. Across here. What's over here? Money. A secret. And that leads to another area. So I need to find something that unlocks these things. That's another part. So I presume I've missed something. 
because I found one of the uh, one of the notes, and the note doesn't look like it tells me that much. Yeah, one one of the things I'm very happy about with the new boom shooters that have come out in the past few years is secrets have become a thing again. After years and years of secrets just being sort of like, oh god, they're annoying. I wish they weren't, weren't in the game. They slow the things down. Shut up. They're lovely. Secrets are wonderful. Ah, okay. Um. So weird diamond thing. Oh, oh, where do you come from? Wrong weapon. That weapon. No, stop dodging. At least there's friendly fire. I find it weird they just stop for a second as well. It's almost as if the brains turn off and uh, they're trying to figure out, okay, how do I defeat this guy? Okay, three spots to fill. That gives the reference to three different spots found. Two nodes. I can complete the puzzles. Hmm. I, I'm very, very bad at these kind of things, unfortunately. I, I can run around enemies and run in circles around them, but trying to think about puzzles like that... Sorry, just thinking. Hmm. Sorry, I was just thinking about that logo, and uh, there's going to be a lot of back and forth, I think, now between the puzzle and. Uh, oh, God, ladders. I'm trying to get off. Thank you. That's one thing I really don't like about this, is ladders seem just really weird. I, I prefer if you just stuck to it properly, like your character... I know it seems like a very modern thing where characters kind of face ladders and you see their feet and hands moving up and down, but I'm, I prefer that than this kind of... Like there's a magnet on your back that just makes you stick to the ladder. God, that's horrible. Are you still... Okay, mate. I... I, I... I respect your choice. If you can call that choice. Jesus. Okay, no, that is not this route. Because now I'm getting a little lost. Avoid the cursed monster corpse. So, let's see. Any symbols there? No, it's just... <sighs> so, we found two notes thus far. Well, I found two notes thus far. So where's the third one? Where's the third one going to be? Cause, hang on, let me go and have a look back at what that last one was. There was one in, under here, wasn't there?
You can make it off the two notes. Okay. Um, two dashes, two dots, and a square. So, I'm trying to work out is the symbols at the sides... The symbols at the sides, what do they signify? Yeah, good point. I will try and... Let me pick my phone up. No, no. No, that's my Twitch um, observation. I don't want to do that. Okay. That's a good idea. My phone is very hot for some reason. Then again, it is a Samsung Note, so notes do get very, very warm. And... There's one back here. Thankfully, the character's got a nice nippy movement speed. Right, okay. That's two pictures taken. And so... I'm going to go back to the point, because... Fuck those two planks in particular. Um... <laughs> Ladder. Wait for my stamina to get back. His stamina does recharge very quickly, at least. So. Now. Let's see. Get rid of the camera. Onto the gallery. Okay, so the middle part looks like it's about right. The top part looks like it will be... No, that's the wrong one. Ah. Oh. Next one. Or is it? No, that is correct by the look of it. What else is there? No, that looks about right. That's about right. And the bottom one... Two dots and a square. Two dots and a square. I've gone past it, haven't I? But the thing is, what's bothering me is there's two different patterns. Because it seems to indicate there's two different posts. So, one of them might be this pillar, and there might be a second pillar somewhere else. very difficult to tell, unfortunately, um, without actually fully exploring the map. <clears throat> yeah, hang on. Just checking my camera pictures. Unfortunately, we can't see that on the stream easy. Because one of them indicates the bottom thing has two dots, and then above it is that line there. And at the top, there's two lines... 
but it doesn't tell you what else is on that post because it looks like it's indicating there are two different posts somewhere in the game. Sorry if I can't um, see what you're saying in chat because unfortunately I I have to go across to my camera and uh, my chat I'm looking at on phone on my phone. So it looks like I might need to find one more note. Because I think it's indicating there are two posts. So there's another post somewhere. But what quite that where quite that post is, I don't know. And also that last note. I'm gonna have to find it. Are you alive as well? I think 3D Realms is a... Uh, problem with living corpses. You do you guys. Um, physics objects seem to be annoying when you step on them. They just... I, actually, that was in the demo. The... Um, that bug. Um... Because now I remember there was a uh, developer in chat when I was playing the demo. And he points out a few of the issues that I was having were sort of like when you step on a physics object, it flips you around. Um, would be nice if in the journal the, um, there was some kind of notation where you could actually draw down what you saw. But, because at the moment it's annoying going back and forth between the different points. <sighs> so there's a note there, there's a note back there. I don't think they'll be sadistic enough to put notes in the water. There's still an area up here. No. Ah, cool. Thank you for that. Um, it's just at the moment uh, running back and forth between the various different um, things. Because taking a photo is fair enough um, on my phone, but expecting to do that, you know, expecting a player to do that's a bit annoying. But it's good to hear that's going to happen eventually. But at the moment, I'm a bit stumped as to where the third note might be. The, I rarely ask for help with uh, when this is happening, but I just ask now, is there a third note, or do I have to figure out from those two notes what I'm supposed to be doing? Um, two hints, right, so I have got both of the notes. Nice to know. I'm enjoying it. I will say one thing, and I, I, I did um, give some feedback when I did the demo to, I think it was Barracuda who was watching me back then. Um... My complaint at the moment is the demo version. I liked it a lot. And in fact, the difficulty was a kind of difficulty that I enjoyed. Uh, the combat feels more powerful now. And you've probably noticed. Uh, did you actually. I'm, I'm going to show you this quickly because if there's a dev here, it might be interesting to note. Did you see um, this rather sad fellow? This corpse, for some reason, is still alive, and we blew it up with the alt fire of this thing, and you can just hear him still grunting away. Uh, I, I don't know if you might want to. You, you probably it might be one of those known problems you've got, but it, it's quite an interesting thing. 
yeah, cool. Just thought I'd mention it since I was a dev here, simply because that's uh, a bit entertaining, because these guys seem to have it as well. But um, at the moment, maybe I really, really shouldn't be up, because normally I'd, I'd admit I'd go straight to someone like Pag B's uh, YouTube to find the solution. Um, it, am I barking up the wrong tree to think that because the note has two kind of lines, there's two different sets of pillars? Or is it only one set of pillars? Because uh, at the moment I am very confused. <laughs> Throw the barrel. Because looking at some um, the things I've got, it does seem to indicate that would be correct. But I'm presuming that's because it's the direction I'm fa I'm facing when I'm looking at it. Because at the moment, this is a bit of a pickle, because uh, it looks like Atlantic um, Leet there is having the same issue as me. They're just, we're just trying to figure out, are we doing this right? Is this right? Is this wrong? Because if I... Um, I, just, I just can't figure out what's going on here. Because unfortunately you can't see on my screen when I'm saying this. I'm going to be minimising my chat for a minute so you can't see what I'm doing. But by the look of it, bottom, square. Oh, no, that's a photo of a house. Top, square. On the other one. Because on the left, it's just squares. And on the right, we have things that complement those squares. And the middle... Yeah, it, it looks like looks like everything's in place. I can't. I didn't see the chat just then, so if uh, anyone said anything, I'm, I'm sorry I didn't notice it. Um, but by the look of it, that's correct for the what the puzzle is, unless I'm getting it completely wrong. Unless there's something else I have to do first. The reason both show the right side for the middle one. So am I thinking correctly in the context that there is two pillars then? Because that one and that one, if you align the... T that's, that's two different kind of... Uh, Right, chat's going to be minimised, so I won't see any advice. Because the middle is two dots. And then the other one, it's the line. Whereas the bottom is the two dots. But on the left-hand side, it's the square. And on the other one, it's just the square at the bottom for this one. And two lines. Hmm. Because the square... How many of them have got squares? There's... There's two without squares. One, two, 
one second. Square and double dot. So... Square and double dot. So we're just checking the textures to see if you're hiding something. Nope. Puzzles like this just make me feel really stupid. Ugh. Apologies to anyone who's watching this thinking, hmm, this might be interesting, but yeah, I am... In the top part, it did symbolise... No. It's hard to hit the levers as well. So that's, that seems to be... Now that's a pile of records. Um, yeah, so square and double line. But the middle one, as you say... That's not it. Oh, 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 hang on. Is that what you don't put there? No, that's not what you don't put there. Because that's, that's definitely from the page. It says you do... At least, <sighs> have you ever had a dream where you, we, if you could, you would you, if you could do you so much you could do? <sighs> Symbolism of the candles. This is where you start getting stuck so much, you start looking at the environment and going, Does this paving slab mean anything? No. Because uh... at this point, I'm feeling like rage quitting at. Uh... I'm, I'm, I swear I'm going to feel like a complete idiot once I figure this out. If I ever figure it out. Shape of outlines, okay. One minute. Oh! Left one is that, right one is that.
Okay. Square. Oh no, hang on. Won't be able to read chat for a second, but... Dots on that side. And square on that side, so... Oh, shit. Ah, square on that side, dots on that side, top. Lines on that side. And square on that side. Lines on that side, square... Square, li lines. Hmm. I'm still barking up the wrong tree, I imagine. Because that one looks like it's correct. Mm. Press M for real fast. Am I getting it the right, wrong way round? No, no, no. Hmm. Must still. Uh... Unfortunately, I can't see what's being said um, while I'm doing this, but uh, double dot. Oh, sugar. And square. Double dot and square. Double dot and square. Damn it. Just checking at the moment the patterns. So square. Is it on the other side though? That that would be that'd be incredibly unintuitive. I mean I'll see, I'll see. No. Not double dot. Hang on, rather than constantly flicking around on my phone, do it old school. Now that's my 
vaccine paper. I don't want to be losing that. I'm sorry about this. Okay. Line, line. Dot, dot. Oops. And square at the bottom. And then the other one. God, I've not done this for years. Wobbly line in the middle. Dot, dot at the bottom. And side so square at the top. So it, it's just a little inconvenient flicking between things um, on the phone. Okay. Right, how's Graven been treating me? Fantastic up until this bit, and, and now I am very confused. Um, so, line, line at the top. Uh, square on the side, line, line at the top, because I presume it's maybe this way. Line, line, line. Oh no, I've done the wrong, wrong thing. Um, because now it's it's just poking things until it works, I guess. Line, line. Nope. I might be barking up the wrong tree completely with this. Square. Um, double dots, wobbly thing, so that one. Double dot square. Oh, what is that? So it's not that either. Help a man with autism, uh, well, Asperger's, who is very bad at abstract out, please, I'm lost. <laughs> oh, my word. But I'm, I think I'm going to give this five more minutes of me trying to figure out how to do it. But after that, I think I'm just going to try and do a rage quit eventually, because this is winding me up like nothing else. No. That's line. No, that's not double line. I could check out the guide on Steam. In fact, I think... It instantly puzzled totem solution. Okay, so right, two lines at the top, yep. Square at the side. And bottom one is the two lines. Oh, bugger. This is not my day! Two lines, square. That one. And... Oh dear. 
<sighs> no, that, that wasn't a standard fart, that was a brain fart of maximum ca capacity. Oh my word. <laughs> oh, more of you guys. And now on to stuff that I'm actually not too bad at. Hitting things. And avoiding being hit myself. Okay. Unfortunately, I, d I don't have very good abstract thinking in that regard. I usually think in physical spaces. So stuff like that, that is... That is absolute nightmare. That was an absolute nightmare for me. Um, but I will definitely be giving that Steam Guide a big thumbs up. Because... Jesus. And thank you. Thank you for the... The hints. It's just... Oh my word. <laughs> that, that, that didn't work out very well for me. But at least I have the key and, and can continue. On with the journey. <sighs> now, the door was over here, I think. <sighs> Brain farts and verbal diarrhea, that's what I suffer from. Okay, now, finally, can get a move on. Oh, I... Oh, I need an item. So it's not that lock. So where have I seen a door that needs a key as well? No, wrong key. Um... I'm actually British. I'm very, very much English. Um, I, as I, I said a minute ago, for some reason... Um, I don't know, people pointed out um, I'm, I'm very slightly autistic and that seems to affect my speech patterns, so apologies for my oddities of speech. Okay, so this key, what key is this? Now, I don't know what kind of key that is, unfortunately you've not implemented that system and yet. Right. There was another part around here. Is this the key finally? Key for this finally, even? No, it's not that. And it was all going so well up until that puzzle, and now I'm just very, very confused. Oh, well. So where else was there doors? Where else were there doors that I could probably unlock? Up the evil ladder. So if it's not that door... This has nothing to do with what I've got thus far. Got all the ammo for those things. There's the white X doors, and I still don't know what they're for yet. I'm sure they'll reveal themselves in time. But it doesn't feel right going back this far. Get myself stuck to the br the ladder. Get off the ladder. I got so distracted by the um, the puzzle that I think I uh, lost my train of thought when I was trying to describe something a bit earlier. Um, I don't know if the uh, devs are still there, but my only real complaint thus far between this and the demo version is I think... I mean, I do like the way you've tweaked the combat, but I think it's become a little bit too easy. Um, physics objects. And so... Before, where I'd struggle with the combat to a small degree, which was a nice challenge. Now it's just a little bit too easy, I think. 
as I say, as I get hit by all the fish. But I think I'm going to stop in a minute because my brain has gone and uh, given up to a degree. So I, I'm, I've, I've hit a point where I just, I've had enough. I've just had enough. Um, it, it's been great thus far, but that puzzle was just a little bit too abstract for my silly brain. No, nope, all done. Didn't go in that last pond. I hear you. <gasps> there you are! Am I on low health? No, I'm good health. Kill all the zombies! Who are easy enough to kill. Yeah. I'll nip across to the Steam forums. I try and avoid them normally because it's usually a place where people say, My God, you're a bunch of rip-off artists. Why didn't you cater this exactly to my tastes? Um, but I'll leave some feedback on the Steam forums, I think. Hello there. Okay. So... Oh, nice. Oh! Oh, 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 I just remembered something. It's back in the Brian Muskag. Um, I'm going to stop doing stuff on the forward motion now, simply because I've hit a point where my brain just doesn't want to do anything else. But, um, yeah, I've been in this pond. Oh, it's because I was out of um, stamina. Um, but I remember in the Brian Muskag, there was an area with the cracks on the wall. So, maybe I'm going to run all the way back to the Brian Muskag. If people don't want to watch, that's fine. And I think I'm going to try and find that wall where I needed to smack it with a stick. Because I presume you can smack it with a stick now. Hello there. You're new. You're also, uh... Oh, okay. You're not friendly. Bad. I was going to uh, try and do a little skit, but no. The zombie didn't want to join in, so I had to kill him. Right, back to the Brian Muskag. Ah, uh, I, I guess... As, as awesome as this is to have a new game out, um, especially from you guys, because I, I really like your stuff, it's not exactly uh, the biggest game around. But I prefer it that way. I, I like my small little weird indie games. Even, even though I don't know if I should... People keep calling 3D Realms indie. I don't think you're really indie, are you? Also, you killed Cancer Mouse! Well, he is a racist, so... Or was it Sivvy who killed Cancer Mouse? Hmm. Questions, questions. So many questions. But now, going back to the Brian Muskag. What else? What, what little snippets of information can I talk about while I run back and backtrack through the whole game? Do like the fact you can go in that tower now. Still not quite got much in it, but um, of course I expect there's going to be a lot more added. It is nicely fleshed out from what the demo was, even though it's been spread out a little more. But, oh, phlegm in my throat, excuse me. I do have very high hopes for this. Because as much as I've loved all the boomer shooters that have come out recently... And I really love those boomer shooters. Um, you can get a little bit um, fatigued on them. And so, yeah, it's good to have a immersive sim. Even though, I was about to say, 
even though it doesn't really play like most other immersive sims, the problem with immersive sim is it just seems to be genre that doesn't fit into other genres. Right, 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 right. Uh, ooh, okay. Oh, of course, yeah, I can go th this way because I went through the back door. At least he gets his stamina back quickly. And getting stamina back quickly means I can very quickly traverse cheeky spiders. I hear somebody spitting at me. Hello? Ow! Oh, you cheeky bastard! How dare you! Yeah, I, I guess that is true. Immersive Sim is figure it out and make it the way you work, the way you want it to work. Um, but I'm, I'm getting more um, Messiah of Dark and Might and Magic than any other game. I've seen so many people talk about Hexen and Heretic, which I'm not fully agree in agreement with. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh. I guess we are going through here now. Oh, new section. So yeah, the, the, I just feel more Dark Messiah in this than any other title. Oh! Oh! Nice! But um, with that, I'm probably going to call it a, uh, a stream in a minute, simply because I've been doing this for a couple hours now. And I've hit a point where my brain's sort of saying, nah, I've, that last puzzle stressed me out so much, I've, I've had enough for the moment. Not saying it's bad, it's just that my brain's not very good at abstract puzzles, unfortunately. So with that, I will say thank you for watching, and thank you for coming along to the stream. And also, where, where, did, where did the dope fish go? You took the dope fish away. Oh. But anyway, thank you. This has been Graven. Really, really interesting game. I definitely would advise it. Um, even though the devs, a couple of devs are there on the stream, I'm not sure how many people are watching. Three, they're probably just the devs now. Um, I, I, I am a little hesitant on saying putting your money down on it yet, but this is definitely a watch out for it because it's freaking great with its potential. But on that, I say thank you for watching, and hopefully that has gone across. Yep, and goodbye. <laughs>